Switch this around real quick. Right here, hold on. Shit. Here, I'll switch it over. Cool. All right. 
Still only a couple of you in here. But we're on to the nose piece. I had to wait for uh, UPS to show up, but they finally did. Amen to that. Don't have anything. There we go. I'll if any hill wants to remind me where the hell I am. The drone hanger. But hey, here we are. Cool. There's your six. Nose piece is right here. Thank you, Matthew Smith. Give another part for that. Amen. I did it. Amen. I don't have much time, but amen. All right, there we go. So let me go ahead and start showing you this stuff. I'll show you everything I got. Sorry, the volumes are all messed up. This is really quick. I don't know. I say it's really quick, but we'll find out. It's the last step for this airframe. All right, let me show you the nose pieces. All right, here you go. See them? got venting for the front because we need it for this particular camera it's got a heat sink on it first problem already first problem already and i didn't even think about it so this is not a uh dig on matt matt so good you're here uh the see, probably the only person here it's so late when i normally stream anyways see how i'm having to cut this the reason why i'm having to cut this top part right here this channel is because we both didn't and i didn't i failed to give you this information when the camera rotates around, let me grab it right here. So when the camera rotates, long ca the ribbon cable, right? All right, we don't need to talk about that part. Just the main top part. So look at this top part. I, it's a ribbon cable, and you know you can't crimp these, right? So I'm gonna have some room in order to slide it in. I don't have that room. Well, one way or another, we've got a mount, so we'll use it. But refinement, we got to change the change the depth of that channel up top, or you know, whichever. Yeah, I guess this is the, you got perforated bottom right here. I'm imagining this is the bottom right here. It's a perforation or whatever. On the other one, it's cut out. So even if it's just the two of us, if you're there, let me know because it looks like it just wants to tear off. So we're gonna tear it off. But I am already cutting into this. So I'm gonna get over here and try to see what I can do. <laughs> I'm gonna have to MacGyver this. I'm gonna have to MacGyver this. I'm gonna have to get MacGyver. Yeah, it's okay, dude. It's no big deal. We didn't know. This is why we're trial and error in this, right? No one's really made a notes piece for this, so at least that not that I know of. So let's get you all the data. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I mean, it's going to work. I mean, I'm going <laughs> to make it, I can make it work, right? But going in the future, you need, if it's, if you're looking at it right away, right? Give me some data. Oh, here, let me go over here. Yeah, you can see where the cut is. You can see where the cut is, right? So I think it's about halfway. So there's your, there's your line. You can reference this when you go back and try to recat it, but it's got to go all the way to the front. And camera wise, I'm trying to get this camera to focus. That's the most I can put on it. That's the most tension I can put on that ribbon before I start getting really apprehensive, right? Give you a measurement on it. That way we have that so you have some data. So, bottom, top, the absolute top. This would get it in with, you'd have to push it in, right? You'd, put, you'd slide it in and go all the way down, three quarters of an inch. Three, three, three quarters of an inch. That's what it needs to be. Triple check that. 
base of the camera, which is flat. There's no flanges or anything else hanging out the bottom of the camera. So if you slide it through the bottom of the camera, so you're getting a little taller than that. Now you're getting taller than that. So I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Bottom of the camera to there. It's almost like you're below an inch, right? You're below an inch, it's like 15 sixteenths. That's exactly what it is. So that's what I would cut it. So whatever, convert that to millimeters and there you go. Yeah, so I'm gonna hog it out because we got two of them, you sent two of them, which I think was very awesome and kind of you. So even though there's only a couple of you and me in here, I'm still shower you with applause. Yeah, I didn't start, UPS sucks by the way. God, they take forever, man. I love FedEx. It, they send their shit so quick. Like, it gets there in the morning. I'm ready to go. No later than 11, right? Um, and same with postal services for me. They, they come about the same time, so they're pretty quick. And UPS is freaking always late. I didn't, they didn't show up till 530. So, I have two options because I really, really want to get this up. First, I need to ask you, Matt, which one is the one we need to use? Is the one that's got this channel already... I guess you cut it all out or, or you tore off this perforated part. I have no idea what that part's for, so leave it in the chat. I've already started to hog out the one that has the, that is not uh, perforated, is not cut off. I'm gonna try to hog this out. I do have a time frame. If not, we would have already been installing this and been on our way. Thanks, Matt. I was trying to do a, a maiden, but because of this nonsense, no, I can't. Like, I'm just kidding. You know, eventually they'll have a finished product that will be good. And I'm just hoping the camera like pans out, right? This is all, everyone's participating in this one. I like that. Everyone's adding to the cause. I'll make sure I get everyone a nice video to look at, right? So, so what I'm thinking about doing is, is making a tape canopy and just cutting this bitch all the way down. Because in order to hog it out, I'm gonna have to get out my, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to get out my soldering gun or my soldering tool, either one, and hog it out that way. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try this. Way. Oh wait. Let's try it. I'm gonna sharpen this damn thing to cut my phone. I was ready to roll. It's ready to roll. It's ready to cut into this thing. And then the other thing. So in actuality, to line this up right, to conform with the wing, I'm trying to see where you've got this thing going. You don't want to stick with all this crap, right? So you've got about a quarter of an inch. You could go a quarter inch longer. All right, so there, here's a couple things. The, the access, you got to be able to get access to your SD cards, right? So the SD card comes out on the side. So the only way you could theoretically get this SD card out when you want to take the footage out, is you got to push the camera out. You got to push it all out, right? In order to pop the SD card out. So that's, that's a little bit, a little bit, uh, bit of pain in the butt there is there is no alternative right there is no other option it is the only way it comes in and out i wish it came out the back if it came out the back then we could actually just maybe poke it out the back but first things first we're not even long enough so it needs to be yep quarter inch longer exactly Quarter inch longer on that, five sixteenths for the depth of the channel, so it can go in. So we can slide it in here, right? These these channels right here, they both don't need to be. Just figure out which one's top, which one's bottom, right? And then just make that top one, fifteen sixteenths, or however you need to do it. You do the magic, voodoo. What's up, broccoli? Say hi to him. It's a late it's a late late stream for me right now. I'm waiting for Rudy to get off work, and uh, but we'll see how broccoli. Got to go check out his channel, broccoli. I'm stealing your. Uh, Stealing your tokens, man. You gotta hit, send me up the uh, hit me up with that guy. 
Send me an IM, Facebook, if you could. Uh, the guy who does your tokens, because I'm going to do the same thing. Good idea. And I've given you credit already, so this will just be the first time you've heard me say anything about it. Uh, and just so you know, we're working on a nose piece for this super spec, which I know this is kind of foreign territory for Broccoli, because he is a quad guy, not a wing guy. But anyways, this is a really, it's a pro end frame. Uh, it'd be like, you know, Sealy stuff, right? High end, good stuff, top notch. And we're trying to get this to Maiden, but what the goal was, is still this weekend. And right now I'm working on a nose piece, 3D printed by Matthew Smith, who, Smith, who's in the lobby right now. Sent me these, kind soul that he is, and uh, we're working out all the kinks basically right now, right? So we've come across a couple issues and we need to address them. I'm still going to get this going, so I'm going to still work it. Get the pull it back out later, I will. Yeah, but check out my jock um, chocolate. I almost called you Jockley, dude. <laughs> Broccoli. Check out his channel. It's, uh, I'm so rushed. I got I to gotta slow down a little bit, right? Because I am so excited to launch this. I'm so excited to get this thing up, I can't tell you. I am dying to fly this aircraft. But remember, spec wings, including super specs, would literally be at the top of my list if they were just better... For uh, to transport, if you were to take it on a plane, because I, I I travel a couple times a year for sure, at a minimum, to go to Colorado to get video, right? Go home, see my property and everything, see my best friends, my brother, and uh, the Mini Drax sits at the top as my number one frame because of that. That's the that's that's what breaks it. If if, if these spec wings. Super spec or just standard, where it easily uh, transportable with you on the aircraft, like when you're flying and stuff. Then this literally would be my number one frame. So when I say this might be, but spec wings. I love the way spec wings fly. They just they're just amazing. And it goes for all of them. TBRC's got a great spec. You know, I love my right wings. All right, so I'm over here hogging this thing out. Like, I sharpened this razor blade. It was ready to go into this film. Just go, and then drop this in, and we're done, and off to the races. That's, that's what I was hoping for the whole way here. Nope. Not even close. It is off in 26 minutes. It still takes them another 20 plus minutes to get to our flying field. And if anything, we're going to launch the nano up uh, nano did great yesterday uh, those of you who were watching the live stream yesterday uh, see it I am working yeah, you can see I'm working. Um, hogging this out trying to dig a channel out I uh, took the nano up we tested all the uh, the OSD uh, we test return to home um, turn home work great OSD work great uh, still have amp draw drop off, but it flew a lot better. We were absolutely confirmed. Oh, and then we got uh, BL Health, uh, we got into BL Health 32, Kelly 32, did some uh, some tweaking on it, or uh, actually rooted. I'll give him credit on that. It was all him. It's been forever since I've been in BL Health 32. It's been like, I had to sit here and think 2015 to now, so whatever that is, six years. So I got in there and messed with anything like that. So it was interesting to go back in there. I was like, oh man, flashbacks. I remember tuning ESCs all the time. So we, we tweaked it, uh, rooted, uh, changed um, motor timing, got it off, off, and then we set it. Uh, did a couple more parameter changes. Got the brake turned on, and uh, she flew really well. We got a lot more amp draw. We were pushing in the high, or sorry, low 30s. Takeoffs were in the, four, the mid 40s. Amp, I'm talking about amp draw. And then uh, we just, uh, it, once it went for a while, it eventually would drop off and sag off again. And then it, it would pick up and drop off. So we knew we were getting thermal cutoffs again. So uh, I don't know what more I can do to actually fix that other frame as far as ESC exposure to wind. I, I've given it all I can, Scott. I've given it all I can, Captain. So... Uh, the next step is upgrade ESC, but it's achieving what we want. It's, it's actually doing exactly what we want it to do. 
almost it's about 95%, 90, 99, yeah, 90%, about 90%. There. All right, I sit here and I'm trying to delicately do this. I really don't want to have to. Take a nose piece out twice. Like this is a one-time kind of de deal, right? So I'm trying to. I'm not good with knives. I can show you scars. I almost cut my finger off once when I was a teenager. Right. Get it down as far as I can. You got what? How much an infill in here? Can't be that much. Not much infill. I know a little bit about 3D printing, right? But I don't. I don't know a whole, a whole bunch. Like you guys far exceed my knowledge. But I do know about infill. I like TPU mounts uh, much better than anything else. Much more forgiving. Uh, it looks like you can get that extra depth that we need in order to accomplish our mission. See, hogging it out right there. We're going to test just a minute. Let's see if I can keep going down. I'm going to check your messages too. Sorry if I haven't said anything. What's up, Big Lou? Oh, I'm going to stop that. Tall drink of water Mr. Big Lou is. Me, wow. What nose pieces? Yeah, some special design. My brother, how you doing, man? I miss you, man. Uh, yeah, so Big Lou, this is for this is for the Super Spec. Uh, it's specifically, this is for the Cadex Tarsier V2 4K. Okay, that split kind of concept, well, not kind of, that split concept of HD. So we can, I, I really want to, still on that quest, Big Lou. Got to get some good HD footage out of here, out of these frames, especially my right wings, my spec wings. Oh, and I got some new stuff coming too. Ru uh, Click and I talked last night. <laughs> There's definitely a frame coming in the future. Now, is it the one that I showed you the other day on that video? No, it's a different frame, but I'm excited. So he's sending a couple out to me. I'm gonna go ahead and get them built up, and you guys will definitely get to see that. And then we're gonna we're gonna collab a little bit harder on this one. And uh, he specifically specifically said, you know, get it to what what you want it to fly like, and then we'll slap your name on it and so it's a Shelby frame. Oh, that always makes me sad. I love it when we collab and make a bit like you know. Come up with some some Shelby like Shelby frames. See, I'm not trying to make money off all that. I mean, I'm not. You know, sit there and go and try to figure out how to get a cutter, and I ain't trying to do all that. I'm trying to leave a mark with everybody. So one day when I stop flying or I'm gone, which I will be, maybe I'll die. But there'll be a frame out there, hopefully still that right runs around with my name on it. They had my hands all over it, with design, and and that way you all are left with something to fly that I thought was super duper ass cool going in the future. All right, this is actually not too bad. I thought it was gonna be a little harder than I anticipated. We might be able to get away with this. <laughs> Someone watched a lot of MacGyver in the '80s. <laughs> that would be me. We age ourselves when we talk about. This. Stuff like that, right? All right, I think I can do it. Make sure I'm not popping out the nose here with the razor blade. Oh, I am. All right, so I've reached the edge. Now, let's see if I can cut that off. Cut that piece off. All right. Want to cooperate? This is when you just grab your soldering tool, heat it up. And get it really hot and then just cut through it like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, usually uh, we're on much earlier in the day. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight your messages because we uh, we love Big Lou, man. Yeah, I'm sure the rest of your gang misses you a lot. I know they do. I know they do. I'm gonna have to come down there and just 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 to see Big Lou. Let's see if I can get that cut off right there. Come here. Hot knife through butter. Pink. Done. Now I'm hogging out a little extra. Oops, there it went. Okay. Oh, I don't know if 
that's gonna be enough, but that's what I just hogged out. Get right. It's one little cut I gotta do all the way in the front. I don't know how well I'm gonna do that. Let it just go right down in this ditch and do it. Cut right down inside of it. That's what I'm gonna do. That's probably going, what the F? What the WTF, Shelby? You're just ripping and tearing and. Yep. This is, this is what I would do with uh, other. <laughs> what I do when I test shit. I'll go at it. It just won't cooperate with cutting off right now. It's very, very, very in right where I need it. All right, come on. You're almost out. One more. One more piece. Again, Matthew Smith is the one that's been uh, making this and doing all the legwork, all the hard effort. All the applause goes to him. And holy hell, is it hot in here? Needle nose. See what I'm here to rip it out. Do a Mr. T approach. Come here, bro. All right, it's out. All right, let's take the camera. Let's see if I can't get it down in there. I don't have high hopes. I have very, very low expectations right now. Not, not because of Matt, just because of the, situ of the situation of this camera. All right, so I'm gently pushing this SOB in here. Don't ask me how I'm gonna get it out. <laughs> Don't ask. You know, some, some silly person is gonna do that. I'm gonna do is I'm debating right now. Right? I cut this, cut a little piece, like a, cut a little flap of this up. All right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't want that out anymore. And then if you really want to go at it, just go with this damn thing. Spin on some of it. Get the top, the top there. Make sure if you ever do this, okay? If you ever, ever do what I'm doing right now. Make sure your shit's ventilated in your house, okay? Make sure you're ventilated and get some ventilation and you, you clean your tip off immediately. Right, I didn't hit the tip tip. I used the, the base, if you will. The, I hate saying some words because you guys get really bad. The shaft. That's good. And use a little sandpaper just to clean it up a little bit. Not the tip, just the this part right here. Really don't have to do don't have to do any soldering today. So this is just all so we can't get it in. Alright, that definitely improved. Grab my razor blade. Let me access. this. That we still might be successful. I'm just gonna make sure I can get it in and then pull it out. Oh my god, I just walked into that one. Alright. Yeah, battery's ready for this thing. Alright, that looks really good. Let's get it in now. 
It's a little bit more right off the bat. Width-wise this time. the very top layer of your print there is not <laughs> there isn't any more up front that's it that's the max so i've hogged it out i think it's even thinning Let's see if I can get some light in there oh not yet it's hot up in here it's humid very humid very very humid Somewhat smooth. All right, let's try it again. As much as I want to launch it, I'm not going to rush this. This either happens on time or it doesn't happen on time. If I could get it done today, that would be golden. It would be awesome. However, but that might not be the case. I gotta, I'm inching it. I'm, I'm just... Oh, so slightly pushing it down until I get resistance. And then I'm like, all right, we're going to come on back out now. Push it a little bit. I'm not going to do something doing that. Look for something a little bit nicer to push it out with. Some resistance up front, so I'm gonna have to address that again.
pieces absolutely being peeled. Come on. Out. Thank you. I think that's what was holding me up. Oh man, it's so close now. All right. Right to the edge, and then I can't get it in. Push a new heart, so it's going to have to get cut up. So I'm going to stop. Let's stop right there. And it's going to have to get cut up. Push it in. Easy. That's good stuff. stopping you give a little gap on the lenses like a millimeter just give a millimeter if, if matt you're still watching was it taking all day for that to get delivered dude it did it took forever they said at 8 30 it went out on the truck and then it get till 5 30. okay so still giving feedback matt you need about a half a millimeter going around the oval right here i can't show it to you right here i don't care anything but right here so all the way around it, just that perimeter, just give, give just a little bit more. It's, it's binding right there. And I'm not saying your, your measurements were wrong. I'm sure they're accurate. It's just, um, 
just a smidge. I, I mean, I want to put it in there. <laughs> Sounds bad. All the way around. I want to. I'm gonna try a little bit. I'm just gonna turn up right at the, right at the edge of where I need it. See, I think it's getting bound up on something. I gotta find out what that is. You might have the actual measurement completely the right, and I'm just getting stuck on the cable again. Right? The cable is still the main, main, main issue. Just All right. Should we give a little, little relief on the uh, ceiling here on this thing? Just a smidge. Not cutting anything off. I just want to get that thing up there. Maybe you can add incorporate some sort of design into this. Okay, nope, you're good. Your measurements were good. Just the cable. Alright, yep. Alright, we're in. So no, that's good. You're good on that. Yeah, we're in there now. This is why I need the camera in my hand. Yeah, I think that's what I figured too, man. It's okay. I think you're good on that, right? If you want to give it a little play, that's fine. You really don't need to because you have the right measurement. Just needed that channel up top, right? See, it's just about this ribbon cable, right? That's all it is. I hogged out a lot of it, and I look to be okay. What I don't look to be okay with, though, is the rest of it. All right. We're going to make it work, though. We're going to work with it way, way worse. Now, I wonder if I should pop this through all the way, but if I do that, I feel like I'm going to get stuck almost. I'll cut it up if I have to. So push it a little bit more. Just a smidge. I don't know if I'm going to pick up all these left and right. I don't know how much, how much angle I'm going to have on my lens if this, if these nipples are going to be popping up in my video. We are getting there. Check out the measurements on the inside. Yeah, it's not, it's not a bug in a rug right there. I want to push more on it. Like if this is a traditional FPV cam, I'd be like, all right, get it in there. But because it's not, yeah, as much as I'm gonna go. Cabling. All right, so what we're stuck with. Mm -mm. No. Mogi. Yo, yikes. Getting close. It is getting close. 7 o'clock. Rue calls. I'm done. So, let check out and find out if he's ready to go. Let's find out now. So, Venting, provided I have an exhaust, which would be a naked back, is going to be perfect. It's going to look really good. It's going to, or another, it's it's going to do its job. Um, let's see. These cables, man. I really hate these ribbon cables, man. All right, I can push that with my thumb, nice and easily. Yep. Do not pull the ribbon cable. These little. Driver just to put on the metal to push it out. 
sliding in and out, so that's good. No? He was not getting bunched up. Now, I want to see if I can do it like that, but I can't. There's not enough room. That's what I was worried about. Mm. So close. Okay, he's still at work, so he's still got time. Now the problem is my cable management, right? So I gotta be long enough to get in there. Well, I might be. Let me see. Test fit. See if this will all go in there with the cable harness and everything. Now, the channel being on the bottom is a very good idea because you're going to need it for this cable and for sure. Let's see what I got. Might have to extend this crap. Keeps me motivated is that maybe one day this will fly in Colorado. Maybe. Plenty of space. Plenty of space for cabling. More than enough. You're actually going to have to anchor this down a little bit. Otherwise, going to flop around with another. I don't know how to do that. So, the, the gap. The, yeah. So close. So close. So close. Just lets me know I have to add more cabling. There's no other way I can put this in the way it's currently sitting right now. So, if that is the case, then we have a depth, we have an issue, which is just to accommodate it. I don't know if it's going to work. do and trying to see if I can finagle something. Right, so that's fine. As long as we have a bigger channel that you're gonna be fine if you just had to create that channel up top. Thin it out, I guess, on the top part. So in this little channel make sure it's thin. Ribbon. Can I tuck the ribbon in here? It just needs to be flipped 180, but I can't flip it 180. It's too, it's not long enough. Bit of it. What I don't like is it's too wide right here. It's bing, 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 bing. You're off by a quarter of an inch. 
but how would I do that? I would have to foam wedge that shit in there somehow. I don't know. I mount it. thinking, contemplating, trying to work this out. We're so close. We're fighting one inch or three quarters of an inch of ribbon. Otherwise, it's, it's in here nice the way it needs to be on the nose. See, you can see it now. It's nice and good. Great venting, too. The venting's perfect gonna have to have that in there otherwise it won't vent how will I be able to get this in and out when I need it I gotta be able to get access to all this hmm Not blaming anybody, and so I'm not mad at Matt. They just think it was nice that what he what he's done so far. It's just frustrating. I thought we were there. And the ribbon cable is the issue, and there's no alternative to the ribbon cable. There isn't an extension. There isn't a way to me for double it over. This is literally it. It's in there. I got a nose piece for it. I'm about ready to just pull this bitch out and put it right here. Be done with it. Say screw it. Stick you right here. That sucks. As far as I'm away, you do that. I did it like this, I'd say screw it, and then I'd stick a foam wedge in there and anchor it in so it's sitting tight during flight. Pull the wedge out when I need it. When I need to get to access to like this, pull it out and go, oh, I need the start stop. Obviously, I'm going to have to do that. So I got to be able to pull this in and out first problem right away is I'm already butting up against the back of the camera. And then the ribbon cable. Enough method to deal with that. So now I gotta figure out if I can even do anything with that. So what I'm going to do is flip it over like so. Should be okay. I don't think I'm pulling. Okay, I'm not. So the ribbon cable is fine on the top of the camera. All right. 
The cable's still sticking out a little bit right here. That's all right, because we have room in here. Okay. Oh, I might actually cut this thing. I gotta line it up. Still waiting on Rue. Once Rue calls, if he calls right in the middle of this, and I stop and I leave. Well, I have to give him a few minutes to try. making little jumpers. I have to make a jumper no matter what. Is it worth taking the back off of the camera? question, man. I don't know. Sliding in and out. So we definitely have the right measurement for that. So it comes out real easily. It just, you can see it for yourself. And it, you know what? You're a good call on that one. 
I don't want to expose the back, but what I will do is heat up my my exacto, and then I'll cut that off. Just cut those off. So there, there are little tabs on the back. It's definitely hitting that, so that will give us some room. So we've got to get everything we can. So we still need some depth because I, I don't like the fact that we have that butted up. What I'd like to do is have a quarter of an inch, right? Gap between these two, and then you could put a foam insert or something to that effect in there, right? That. 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 from that ribbon cable. All right, looks pretty, pretty good. All right, that's better. Okay. Another way I can do it, right? But that's twisting the cable. It's not twisting the cable. This actually might be the key. So I got it in this time, but the problem I have now is there's no. Oh, I'll put a spacer in there. I'll put a spacer in there. We might have it right here. Let's put it in this way, though. And I'm assuming that it's okay. <laughs> Ribbon cable is going to be resting on the VTX. I mean, I, or the camera board. I really don't know. But this way right here is actually doing okay. And we we'll see. I'm going to put. A, I'm going to put a little wedge in there. Let me grab some fun. Little teeny bit. See, I, this, this came out of my 48. This was the centerpiece, like right here. It's cut out, and I saved this for you know odds and ends, stuff like this. Keep this up again. Nice clean cut. I made this cut. I don't think so. No, oh, no, it's still good. I don't think I'm gonna have that much. I'm gonna cut a small wedge. See if I can't get it to. All right. Seriously, get your especially those foam. That foam is so good. I'm telling you, it's lighter than EPP and it's super duper strong. At least it feels like I'm like this feels light. This really does feel light. All right. Now we got eight of you guys in here. How's everyone's day? Usually I'm on at like O dark third. Well, usually eleven. But today we were waiting on UPS. All right, I got a wedge. It's nicely in there. Ribbon's good. And then now either way, because that slams against the damn crimps against back there, right there. That's what I ain't gonna do. We'll figure it out one step at a time. Bruce still hasn't called yet. Don't think I'm not gonna go fly. I'm definitely gonna go fly. 
Looking forward to possibly live streaming it, but I don't think that's going to happen because I don't have this ready. If I do it that way, then I have to do a jumper. Just trying to avoid doing another cut into the line. definitely works. Just got to figure out a solution here real quick. I don't want to block the airflow. Needs like a stop. But that's not going to work. I don't know, man. Need to get that nano up no matter what. I need to test something, so that's a, a, a given. Texting him right here, trying to get it all squared away. <sighs> I see you guys riding. Hold on. Damn, we have a serious damn problem. Shelby, call me. Sent my number, messenger. Dang. Knew this mount was gonna be so shaky. I would have made one for you. Interplay, it's tough. When you don't have both items at ease. Yeah, man. It's, I'm not. I'm not shooting Matt now. Okay. Okay. All right. So I gotta. Fortunately, I gotta peace out and go. So we got really close. But not close enough. Got really, really close. I do want to see something though. With the thought process. See, it's, I'm trying to make a little bumpers. I've got holes in there that I don't want to plug up. It's gonna be interesting. Just need a little buffer right there. Just a little bit of a bumper. Just some. Just some. Otherwise, it's... Now we're to this point. When we started, we weren't at this point. Now we're, now we're much better along. Yeah, I could cut it. And I don't even need a jumper. Everything would just bang. Done. Rue's wanting a maiden. I'm wanting a maiden. I'm about ready to tape this damn bitch down and just say screw it and we're going. See if I can do my phone inserts on the side, maybe not hold it in place. No, that's the only thing. I don't know how to work that yet. <laughs> Can't rush it. If I rush it, I'm going to screw something up. All right? Came close. It's like a suspense novel show finish the nose install i can't finish the nose install man <laughs> now we got rue i got everybody yelling at me time out <laughs> about everybody. Let me find out. finish the nose install says rue. <laughs> oh they see you i thought it was matthew i don't want to finish the nose install man it doesn't work it's not working right it's not I'm, I'm completely high risking this camera. The ribbon cable is pressed up right here, right? If I slam on it, it's going to crimp the ribbon cable and then I'm done. No more camera. And I still have to figure out a means to mount it inside. Like it needs to be secure. And then, right now, I don't have that positive. 
Well, maybe right here. This, these wedges might work. All right, so I do have that problem solved. Wedging in solved that problem, so that it's, it's now secure. Everything's hot, ready to go. We're gonna cut this bitch. Sharpen my knife real quick, Rube. Make sure you're going away. To, make sure you're going to where we go. Sorry, I'm gonna have to be quiet here for a minute. Good focus. is right okay what you guys mean for it to be ma matched up to the motor mount it does right. it's always nervous I again I don't know who else doesn't I don't know who doesn't get nervous when doing this turn into a beautiful frame like this heating it up Rue, I'm about ready to leave, so I hope you're heading that direction. This just gets mounted in. I'm not going to do a super thorough mount on this. I'm just going to do a rough mount. It's a quick mounting process because it might have to get pulled out. Let's see. No, no progress. We'll be sitting here all day. You guys put it in chat, man, if you're chatting to me. Nope, you're not. Sorry, somebody else. The nose is right. Just fucking do it. Let's do it. Put out this range. You can provide for everyone. The way of life to be free of duty.
Smith, you know, did yourself. It's very nice. Try to use as much foam as I can. Let's see where I'm at on here. Right here. Um, out a little portion. We're gonna, we're gonna, te we're gonna glue this in and it. In it way where I can get them back out hopefully somewhat easy meaning the actual complete nose because if Matt sends me another one revised then I need to swap it out I'm not going to hammer on this too much but I'll tell you what I'm missing, missing flying this thing big time just any spec all right, so I'm creating a little channel right down here, okay, so I can slide this in and out. Hopefully, I don't even know if that's even a freaking possibility. Just the hope.
might get cut up a little bit more than that. I was like, hey, we can push on the board. No, we can't. The board's on the inside. Yeah, but it's just my theory. It's just my hypothesis. Will it work? Pop it in and out right here. Be able to get to it, and then I just need a backing. So it's not flippy to flopping and all over the place. Took away my OSD cable. It stays on the harness. I can't do anything about that. It just stays there. We'll figure it out. Two heads are better than one. Let's finally get a solution for all these. Because I don't think an Insta360, honestly, is the solution to get quality HD footage out of smart things. That's why I haven't bought one. I keep hearing people saying you should get one. And I'm like, and then I go to look at it, I'm like, I don't know. Someone just keeps telling me no. way of doing all this right now. Oh, okay. I just need to make a wedge. So on that channel down below, I'm not hurting the ribbon cable. Stuff so fun. Just a little. It's got to be able to vent. Alright, there's that. It's in. I'm not worried about recording yet. I guess it's, uh... got tape, right? Just in case I want to run a strap. Rinse tape. Touching it up. Um, actually, I think what I will do is we're going to test this, right? Before I permanently glue this in, I'll take it out of the field made in it. 
I'll, I'll do a little bit of dab of hot glue, and that's about, about it. What's up, Marty? I'll give you a nice little hand there. So I do need to roll out here in just a minute, okay? Because the sunset's coming, and I want to get a, uh, some flights in, at least on the Nano. Rue, I've done the most of the nose install. I've been pretty much done. And there you go, Marty. That one's for you. Hey, we've been flying your uh, crossover. Got it all too. I helped Rue tune it out yesterday, and uh, yeah, we're digging it. See how ready I can tell. See, I'm glad I didn't do that, right? See, so pull it back out. Pull back out already because I got an issue already. And then I'm out. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, not bad. That. Camera's not all the way in. I thought it was, but it's not. This is not like it was before. Oh, there we go. All right, is everybody ready for the maiden? I think I'm ready for the maiden. I think be even more ready than... I'm not going to record this. Uh, because I haven't sat around and, and actually fiddle farted with the... Uh, manual on this yet, so I'm... Not too up and up on all the uh, on how it works exactly, right? That I can do tonight and do some research, just reading and studying and get that done. But I want to get this maiden, and then the final result is I'll give you guys a nice, good freestyle video. It's gonna be cool because everyone's kind of you know a lot of people have helped out on this, give me some input. All right, so this is a very rough testing. When I test, this is kind of how I do stuff. This is you told you from the beginning three weeks ago. We're gonna do these a lot of these Monday through Friday live streams. You're just gonna see what I actually do. Like I'm not staging anything. This is just legit how I do stuff. Yeah, I'm giving you like the lighting and whatnot. But outside of that, I haven't done anything for you. <laughs> it's just, you're just watching what I do. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just to anchor it on the top. Okay, just a little bit. Wiggle my nose piece around until it's flush. Everything. Very good cut. Hey, Matt, by the way, very good cut. Uh, or uh, print. So, very good print. That OSD cable, it's such a pain in the butt. Get up there. Stay up there, David. Stay up there. Believe it or not, we got it in there, right? All that all that fussing and stuff, and we still managed to get it in there. This might work now. Now the next test coming is gonna be the heat. We've got plenty of room right here. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape just to probably right in the middle because I gotta be able to have airflow. It's got to have airflow. This thing has to have airflow. It will overheat. I know it will. So I'm going to do a little bit of dab, dab of hot glue just to kind of hold it in place for the maiden. Just a little bit right here. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just a little bit. A little bit right there. Do my lick method. Seal it up. All right. Do a little bit on it. Why am I not doing all of them? Because I don't want to do every single side. I'll flip it over here. Do the opposite side. Just a little bit of glue, just holding in place. Temporary. Not a permanent sealing up. It's just a holding in place. All right. That's good. Nose now, if you need it. Mm. 
All right, Riz got tape, and I'll just slide one piece of tape over here, and we should be good. I have an idea for V2 for this camera. There you go, man. There we go. That's the idea. First one's not always going to be the best, right? You know that. It's like these spec wings, right? It's like the fifth revision. Everyone working together, collabing, right? That's how we get shit done. It's hard for you to just do it on your own, right? It's better to work with a team, right? It's always we in teams. All right, so camera's mounted in nice and secure. It's, nice, it's, it's in there. It's good. It ain't moving around. We got uh, the boards in place. It's secure. Got a couple foam wedges in there. Let Matt do his uh, thinking and, and come up with some other ideas uh, to maybe modify make it when we make some V2 of this. So, hey, it's kind of cool, right? We get to... Something came out of it when you guys came up with a new camera mount. That someone down the road will might want to uh, use this. We're going to find out really how this camera is going to work here in a minute. Like I'm going to go and test it out, and then uh, tomorrow will be more of provide everything successful. And then tomorrow will be more uh, working on the video settings, camera settings, getting it to record, and then post a. Uh, first flight of it all right i think that's it no more no more window love sell throw a good sell lined up nice we'll find out right I'm coming, man. Not just breathing hard. was off a little bit readjust that but now it's good all right that's it one last check down some spots real quick so I'm a little quiet right now just trying to get some, sh some stuff done All right. All right, this VTX is literally having nothing on it crap on there. Put the Nano on a wire diet. We might have to put this on a wire diet. might you be asking securing my antenna down on my receiver securing my nano rx down that's it the rest of it's going to dangle on the wind 
All right. So Maiden coming up. Do one more spot. Now. Everything's in place. I have one question since so I missed it. Where's the VTX antenna? I, don't, I have it on the Nano right now. I just to swap it over. Post to live footage, live uh, live flight footage. I'm going to try to do that. 7:53 right now. Sunset is eight. So I gotta. I'm hustling. I'm moving. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I will do my best. One way or another, you'll either get it tonight or you'll get it tomorrow as far as footage, uh, live footage for sure. Okay. I'm doing my best right now to do it, though. All right. One more phone to save. All right, it's like rolling this out onto the Space Center. There we go. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm going to start uh, wrapping stuff up. I've got a 6 4 prop. I'm good to go. I've got a uh, nut for the motor. I hope I do, right? Because T motors take different. I have to ask that. Don't team two hundred take different freaking nuts. This. Let's see if I have any backups right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the shop. I'm gonna go to the next. Uh, if I go live, you'll know. That means we're uh, ready to go. No, it's not. We're gonna try a T motor first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap everything up. I'm going, to, I'm going to shut all this down, grab it all, throw it in my backpack, drive up. Ruse sitting there waiting, and then we're going to get this up. If I can reload the rise, live stream and put my live feed in it, that's what I'm going to try to do. Let's see what happens, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Where's my look? Off I go.